Here are some notes on transfusion reactions. Note that this is not an exhaustive list. The first one is acute hemolytic transfusion reaction. This is caused by ABO incompatibility. It has immediate onset, and the initial symptoms are fever, chills, and nausea. It can progress to hemoglobinuria, bleeding, and hypotension. The diagnosis is made with a positive direct Coombs test and hemolysis markers, and symptoms can be masked under anesthesia if you're doing a transfusion during a surgery, for instance. Next is non-hemolytic febrile transfusion reaction. This is the most common reaction. It happens in about half a percent of red blood cell transfusions and up to 30% of platelet transfusions. It's caused by recipient antibodies against the donor leukocyte HLA antigens. So this was ABO incompatibility with RBC antigens. This is leukocyte antigens. The symptoms are similar in the beginning, fever, chills, headache, myalgias, nausea, cough. The treatment is acetaminophen and Benadryl. To prevent this, you can leuco reduce your blood products or use more fresh blood products. Next is delayed hemolytic transfusion reaction. This occurs two to 21 days after a transfusion. This is most common in previously pregnant women that might have been exposed to some less common, some minor antigens from the red blood cells, like the RH or KID antigens. It presents as an unexpected hemoglobin drop. Lastly is transfusion-related acute lung injury, or trolley. This is the leading cause of transfusion-related deaths in the United States, and it's an immune-mediated lung injury. You could reduce the risk of getting trolley by restricting female donors of childbearing age for plasma.